this patrol has been uh, just a great patrol where we were able to successfully interdict two drug smuggling fishing vessels, uh, working in partnership with uh, both Dutch and French forces uh, to really strengthen uh, some international relationships that we have in the Caribbean, uh, working towards uh, eradicating uh, drug flow problems uh, that just not only are limited to the United States, but uh, also worldwide. We went ahead and enacted a bilateral agreement. Uh, we got permission to get on board the vessel. Uh, once on board, we went and did a basic initial safety inspection, which is just to make sure that it's safe for my uh, crew to be on board the vessel. And during that inspection, one of my team members went on board to check one of the holds to look in the bilge to make sure there was no water coming in. And he saw a bunch of bales stacked up to the pretty much to the very deck plates that he was standing on. Um, once he found those, there was a crew member nearby, and he said it was cocaine. So right then, it got a little exciting. We went ahead and checked the the persons on board to make sure they didn't have weapons to harm us. And after that, we kind of calmed down, did our at sea space accountability, and then kind of waited for disposition after that. Uh, in both cases, uh, you know, we, we felt that we had to uh, try to get on board the, the fishing vessels uh, as quickly as we could based on some of the information that we had. And uh, so I, I had to make the, the hard decision to send our boarding teams and, and boat crews uh, in our small boats over the horizon in some difficult conditions uh, with, with, with big seas and at night uh, in order to uh, effectively interdict these vessels. So it was uh, nerve-wracking at times, exciting at times, uh, but the end result was uh, we were able to safely conduct the interdictions with uh, excellent success.